So personal brand is also a hot topic these days. Uh, and from you as a strategist and social media person, why do you think personal brand is important, especially for job seekers or to new immigrants to new country? How can they do that? Right. So, I mean, number one, a personal brand is, you know, very important because it is now the media essential for every employee or every person out there, uh, specifically because we live in a digital age of fluent transparency. You know, recruiters can look and see what you're doing online all by just simply Googling your name. So at the end of the day, you know, your the personal brand is the perception, the digital perception and footprint you leave out there. Uh, for others to evaluate and perceive on your own, you know, character or, or values or beliefs. Um, so the story you tell is very important because it's the bridge between the front of the house and the back of the house. So it's very important. And as a digital storyteller, I can always tell you that, you know, how you perceive yourself to the audience is key in hiring decisions. So, you know, at the end of the day, I think, you know, as an employee or as, as a contractor, or as a consultant, it's important to, to look up and see what your brand stands for. But it's not just the stories, it's the purpose and values mm -hmm. and how you translate that digitally. You know, what is your why? What are the values that you stand for? And how do you translate that in your decision making, in your thought process, and in the stories that you publish digitally? That is the key. So if you're looking at... Um, you know, going to a company, you know, a question you should be asking yourself is what are the values of this company and is it aligned to my values? What's the purpose of this company and why do they exist? And is it aligned to my why? Most reasons why people leave companies or transition from companies is because they feel like they're at a stage in their life where the values are no longer aligned or the values were never aligned. And that's where you have this tension. So when values are aligned, people come together. And workforces come together. So it's very important, um, you know, to, to tell a story and make sure that you surround yourself with people that share the same stories or, or relate to those stories. I also feel that personal brand is what people talk about you when you're not in the room, right? Absolutely. And not just not in the room, what people see on their cell phones, you know, recruiters these days are picking up their cell phone and Googling you or looking up your LinkedIn profile. Mm -hmm. um, it's what they say, what they perceive, but more importantly, how they feel through the stories you're putting out there. That's very important. Thank you for that, Bosco. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of personal brand, please leave it in the comment section, like and share the video, and tune in tomorrow for another question with Bosco.